Yeah, so, it really is, and the paintwork. This is gel coat. This is actual. It's not painted. This is actually oh, wow. gel coat. So very easy to repair mm -hmm. when you scratch it. Um, um, it's got big petrol Volvo V8 engines in it. The boat does 48 knots. Oh my goodness! I me. mean, it's so fast. The um, all the engineering, uh, all the naval architecture was mm -hmm. done for us by J and J, which is a Slovenian design house, mm -hmm. and. Everybody that drives this boat says the handling is unbelievably good. Wow. But it's the way, more than anything, that it lands back in the water over mm -hmm. the wave. So soft, so just beautiful ride. Um, obviously, it's a look at me kind of boat. Absolutely, you know? <laughs> she's a real looker. She's a real head turner. And a collaboration you said with Alberto Mancini. With, that, with Alberto Mancini, yeah. yeah. Boat for the Fairline brand. And uh, we went out looking for some external help. Right. So we have our own design office, with mm -hmm. our own design team, concept design team, and we just wanted to get some fresh ideas in. So we ran uh, what we called the X Factor. Right. So we were all Simon Cowell for uh, the period. Mm -hmm. And we started off by talking to a dozen different design houses uh -huh. um, all, all, from all around the world. We, saw, we gave them all the same brief and they came back and presented uh, that. We narrowed that field down to four, right. our four front runners, one of which was clearly Alberto. We then invited our 10 biggest dealers from around the world right. to join us in central London in the Shard, uh, where we were going to see presentations from the four finalists, mm -hmm. uh, which we did. It's a real X Factor. It was a proper you X really Factor. You really put them through the mill. Uh, so we saw these four presentations. Mm -hmm. two, of, two of the presentations we dismissed, leaving us two, and we could not make a decision. We were, we were an absolute split X Factor judging panel mm -hmm. uh, on these two. So we gave them a new brief, the, the, two, find, the, two, the two that were left. We gave them a new brief. Uh, we gave them 10 days. Wow. Yeah. So we wanted to put them under pressure. And they both came back and presented. And Alberto, I have to say, was the clear winner coming out of that. So that's where, the, that's where the collaboration started. Now, he designed this Targa 45 mm -hmm. for us. Uh, he designed the larger 65-foot Targa for us. And then this whole lead-in boat project, Project F-Line, which was actually the working project name for it, not supposed to be the brand name. Right, okay. <laughs> but it actually ended up as being a great name for it. This I was involved in from start to finish, and it's the only project I've ever been involved in. I have an automotive background. So it never happened in cars, and it's never happened in boats where I've been in involved, where the concept, which is literally the line-drawing sketch often done on the back of a napkin. Right. <laughs> the boat in its finished final production state is an exact mirror oh, of what wow. that initial concept was. Incredible. It, absolutely incredible. It's only happened to me once in my career Goodness where you've me. gone from concept sketch to finished product. And here she is. And here she is. Very excited to go so and have a look. We launched the boat in 2019 at Cam. Mm -hmm. um, Everybody loved it. I yeah, mean, the, not the, surprising. the media reviews were off the scale um, because it was something so different from Fairline. Mm -hmm. And it's high performance and it's massively stylish and all of that good stuff. Uh, then, of course, COVID came along. Uh, she disappeared back in the shed. <laughs> and, and now we're just coming out of that and we're able to expose the boat again. But isn't this the right time to have a beautiful, like you said, very much of a look at day boat? Everyone's so excited and just having such renewed energy Abs for yachting absolutely. And, and being out on the water. And out here in, in the Balearics, uh, I mean, it's great. This is a, you know, south of France, Côte d'Azur. Absolutely. This is Balearic Islands. This is, this is having fun. You know, this yeah. will take you, you know, we could go to Ibiza this afternoon if we could get it out of the If only! <laughs> Come on, let's Right, let's on go board. and check, and check it out. <laughs> so, just jump up on there, and there's a step the other side. You got it. So, what can I tell you? Very important, entertaining. So yes. here we've got ice maker, fridge, crockery cutlery storage. We've got a barbecue griddle under there, a sink under here. We've got these wine coolers, oh, which are awesome. And they, you're going to put your rosé, right? Correct. <laughs> and they'll take your cool bottle of rosé and they will. you can set the temperature. How oh, fantastic. So, uh, one each side. And at night, they glow. Oh, wow. They're lit. So they're pretty funky. Further aft here, clearly seating, so for, for dining. Mm -hmm. But we can fold it all down to make a big sunbed oh, in nice. this area. That's which what is you really need, cool. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, at the very back of the boat, 
we have this platform <coughs> which at the moment is in its down position clearly mm -hmm. so it gives us this almost uh, it gives us extra deck space and adds a meter to, to, to the boat. And nice to be um, so low close to the yeah, water. Yeah your swim ladder goes mm -hmm. in here so you're in and out of the water here and then a touch of a button and I'll do it for you actually uh, right. brings it up brings it up into its up position and closes the back of the boat off. Fantastic. And so off you zip. And it looks fantastic with it up. Yeah. I have to say it really finishes the boat. It's really, it is a departure for Fairline. You know, so Fairline's always had those nice luxury touches. Mm -hmm. Where it is a departure is we've never really done a day boat. Mm -hmm. um, we've always really started at 40 feet. Yes. Uh, certainly in our recent past, we've always started at 40 feet. Uh, and the Fairlines are more, you know, you can spend a week on board quite comfortably. Yeah. Um, this is very much, you know, untie it, zip off and come back at night. Absolutely. That's, that's what it's about. And perfect, like you said, for the Balearics. I mean, it's really... Anywhere where you've got the guaranteed weather, yes. it's absolutely ideal. We have a bimini, clearly, so you want, don't want to be in the sunshine mm -hmm. all the time. Um, and then in terms of driving the thing, well, <clears throat> we wanted... Minimalist is probably the term. We wanted it uncluttered up here. Sure. So our target is somebody that's perhaps never had a boat before. Yes. So let's not make it overly complicated with banks of switches, with symbols that nobody really understands what they do. Uh, let's have you know, one screen, a joystick, bow thruster control, throttle and steering wheel. What and more off do you, you need? Go. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. So think of it, you, you, you parked your sports car on the quayside. You jump in here and it feels very familiar. Yeah, absolutely. Very briefly. And it has that. I mean, you said you come from an automotive background. You can definitely feel there's an influence. You can feel that, yes. Mm -hmm. I make no apology for that. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it, the crossover? But there's not been a, historically lots of crossover between the two industries. But in recent years, there really has been a lot of crossover from automotive to yeah. yachting and bringing yeah. in a whole bunch of new innovation from that field. Yeah, yeah. And, and some people get it very right and, and others not so very right. Um, you know, my, my background is, is marketing. Um, the parallels between marketing a luxury automotive brand and a luxury boat brand, there are real parallels yes, there. Absolutely. It's a very natural thing yeah. to, to have that crossover. And there are a few of us uh, in the brands that have that background and experience. In terms of design, there are things that we do take from automotive, but mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, a car doesn't float. No, it's a car. Yeah. A car doesn't go through the water at 30 knots, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> so, so the design element of, of a boat is a very different discipline, mm -hmm. very different. And then downstairs, Lucy, we have a, a cabin underneath us. So a twin, uh, sorry, a, a double bed below us here. Uh, we've got a wet room, uh, uh -huh. so shower, sink, toilet. And then you've got a, a lovely um, seating area saloon in the front with a table that will uh, go down with extra cushions and you have a big double bed nice. in the front of the boat well, it's as well, lovely so. isn't it if you want to stay at anchor for an evening if you happen to yeah okay. see night under the stars this is beautiful yes please <laughs> when can we go exactly <laughs> why don't they close the marina for us today well this is a great show i mean we love the palmer show and it's much much bigger this year than last year yeah it feels like a real return it's absolutely a return isn't it yeah and I, you're you enjoying know, seeing lots of clients yeah and, and people you know walking around and Hugging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, no face masks. It makes such a difference, you know. Yeah. Um, I know we're not out the woods, and you know we do need to be careful, but it does feel like the good days are back again. Absolutely. Um, which is great. The market, I mean, for everybody is is literally on fire. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, supply is the big issue. You know, we can't build them fast enough for the demand that the market has. Uh, but you know, every brand you speak to at this show will give you the same story. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's, it, but it is good times. Yeah, no doubt. And great to reconnect with the with the industry, but also with your clients directly. That must be fantastic. It, it is, and and you know, Mallorca especially for us has always been a real jewel in the Fairline crown. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We, we see a lot of Fairlines. We send on a lot islands. of boats yeah, here. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is a Fairline island for sure. Some of the marinas are full. Yep. Yep. Um, and you know, we've we've had a recent change in our in our dealer representation on the island. So, um, big big European boat dealer, Boats.co.uk. They are now operating in the Fairline uh, operation in Calador. Okay. Uh, so uh, they, they, they were a Fairline dealer. They went to Princess. Uh, they've come back to Fairline. That marina in Calador 
was pretty much you know, 60, 70 percent fair line. Absolutely. I was going to mention the Calador yeah. Marina. It yeah. absolutely is. And it is. will be again soon. Fantastic. And any new things that you can tell us about for fair line? Anything oh, new sure. launched? Yeah, come on. Tell us all about what's, what's I mean, coming what, up. <laughs> what, what, one, one of the big um, positives from, from that COVID lockdown period mm -hmm. is that we all got an awful lot of time to sit and do our forward planning for product. You know, sure. What do we want to start making? What What's next for us? Uh, so we've got um, a pretty significant long-range plan that's now starting to, to uh, come to fruition. Started with uh, a different cockpit layout for the F-Line 33 mm -hmm. and also a hard top getting rid of the Bimini. Mm -hmm. uh, we then took our flagship, our Squadron 68, and we completely remodeled that on the interior and we tweaked it on the exterior. Mm -hmm. um, we launched Sorry, we were going to launch that at Dusseldorf. Unfortunately, that show didn't happen. Shame. Uh, so we took the opportunity of using that showboat uh, and we put it on display in the UK. Um, so we had clients flying in uh, to, to view that. We sold a few there, which was great. Mm -hmm. uh, next for us is a brand new model, um, new sector for us. We're going to build a, a sport fly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be called the Phantom 65. Cool name. Phantom name is one from our back catalogue. Mm -hmm. So just reviving that. Um, it'll be a three or four cabin boat, 65 feet, 21 meter boat, um, with a, a, a great look to it. I think we've got some imageries around the Definitely stand of it. Check them out. So uh, that's Phantom 65, and that'll launch at Cannes in September. Uh, we then go to Dusseldorf in January, where we'll unveil our brand new, from the ground up, Squadron 58. It's a real key boat for Fairline. Fairline. Okay. 55, 58 foot flybridge models have always been real winners. Mm -hmm. This one is going to top the lot, no question. Very exciting. Drop down balconies each side. Wow. A very clever bathing platform arrangement at the back of the boat. We've put a glass transom on the boat and made the furniture modular. So here's a weird thing on a boat. If you're sat in the cockpit of a boat, invariably you're facing the patio doors. Now when you're at home, on your patio, you don't turn the furniture around to look through the window at the kitchen. <laughs> True story. You look, you look at the <laughs> pool. Or, you know. Yeah. So we've got we've designed modular furniture, which enables you to configure that cockpit seating. I love so that. you can actually sit and look out at the view. The it's back of so the interesting with production yachts that there's more and more elements from the bespoke part of the industry um, yeah. that are coming in. You mentioned all of you know the, the swim platform, the configuration of the furniture. Is it the clients becoming more demanding, wanting these touches, or is it's, it just that you're becoming more innovative? It's, it's us. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's us more than the clients, actually. It's us looking up yeah. at, at super yachts, yes, but you know, brands like San Lorenzo, for example, sure. who just build beautiful boats. They do indeed. Um, and taking inspiration from those guys and what they're doing at 100 foot, can we do that something similar at 60 feet? Yeah, you know, is that absolutely. viable? And that's part of our sort of design process to, to, yeah. uh, to bring that thinking in. Uh, and then once clients see it, you know, there's no stopping it. You, then, have, you, you then absolutely. have to keep doing it. So Fantastic. So yeah, that's, you know, that's just a snapshot of uh, taking us to January of, of next year. Uh, you of are going to be an incredibly product. busy time for you guys, no doubt, but wonderful. And um, a chance for the next two or four days for you to see lots more people from Palma. Have you seen that clients are flying in from all over? Abs absolutely. Because this is the first show Even of the morning. spring. Yeah, it is the first proper European show. Um, clients, you know, we've, we, we took an allocation of tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, We've, they've all gone out. All those tickets have gone out to clients. So you know, we're going to have a very busy three or four days. From my side, it's a great opportunity to see what the other brands have brought to uh, to the party as well. And so. it's busy, busy out on the docks. Lots and lots of boats here. I mean, we were yep. speaking earlier on, there was the, the charter show, of course, in Barcelona this week. Not very many boats. And here right. at Palma, a completely different story. They yeah. are full. Yeah, <laughs> it is full. very full. It is very full. It's good to see. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Well, thank you for coming back to New York to visit us. And um, oh, You can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to hear updates from you throughout the year at the island. But thanks again, Miles. And Brilliant. I love this F Line 33. It's thank gorgeous. You. When we can go out on the water, we will. Let's do that. Yeah, Let's absolutely. make a date. <laughs> fantastic. Thanks, Miles. Cheers, Lucy. Cheers.